to another video. So, this video is going to be a overview and demonstration on this Kirby um, Ultimate G Diamond Edition. This model here that I have was released in 2005. And also, as you can see, I have the attachment box with it, which has a hose. and. Now it is missing some attachments, but um, it has most of them for the most part. And now the um, this model here also came with the shampoo, but or the shampoo kit, but I don't have it down here. It's up in the attic right now, and I don't feel like going up there to go get it. So yeah, and. Now this model here was the only Kirby to have what was called the delicate switch, which is this thing right here, which changed, um, which lowered the speed of the motor and it made it a little quieter. And so I think that's just about it for this uh, intro here. So. The things I'll show you in this video um, are, I'll give you an overview of the machine and I'll show you the different things it can do. Um, so I guess with that being said, stay tuned and enjoy. Alright, so here's the 2005 Kirby Ultimate G Diamond Edition with Micron Magic Filtration. So I guess we'll start um, down here. You can see we got a headlight here, which lifts that up. And then to remove the nozzle on all Kirby's is pretty obvious, but you would just twist that, which is the belt lifter, and that's lifting up the belt, and then just lock it in place. Then that comes out. Then we have access to the fan there. Which, in this case, it's a plastic, I want to say that's a polymer fan. And right here is the safety switch, which when you put the nozzle on, the shampoo or the hose, etc. It would have this little thing here. As you can see, and that presses on to the safety switch. And without that, the machine will not turn on unless something's pressing on that switch. Um, so I guess while we're here, I guess I'll show you the nozzle. So, here it is, as you can see there. There's the brush roll light indicator, which comes on when you know the brush roll is on the correct setting. And I'll go over that a little later on. Got a nice yellow and gray rubber bumper that runs, <coughs> runs all the way around the nozzle. And... Under here is the is the brush roller. You can see this brush roll is in pretty good shape. Um, it's got nice stiff bristles, and you can see they're placed in sort of like random. Um, they're placed in like random areas, so that's why the these brush rollers do a good job. So yeah, and right here um it's a little diagram showing you what position you can put on the brush which i'll show you actually i'll show you that right now how that works so if i just uh, get my camera set down here on the tripod so you can see there's the nozzle so to to um remove it what you would do is you would press these tabs here they are a bit stiff like that to unlock it and then we would um, do the same here and then this base plate here should come out actually there we go and now the base plate should come out like so actually get the tripod set back down a little more
there we go. And then that would come out. Here's the brush roller. And now if the belt, um, since the belt is attached on this model here, I would have to do that, un disengage the belt that as you can see, and then from there, the brush roll can be removed, like so, if I can do it, that, there we go, and which you can see this brush roller here is a bit dirty because I am, I've been using this model actually as my daily cleaner for the living room. So anyway, here's the brush roll. You can see it's wooden and these brush rollers here are made by a company called Cleveland Wood Products. And so now I guess I'll show you the different positions for the diagrams. So um anyway. So right now I had it set on on the third setting, but what you would do is if you wanted to on say like the if you wanted the brushes to well if you wanted the brushes to be in a little more if you didn't need that much um if you didn't like say if you wanted the the brushes to be up so it's basically like a height adjustment um so to speak so what you would do is you would turn it over here to number one on this end and then on this end here do the same thing and then put it installs back into the nozzle like so and it's, uh, it's a bit hard to do this actually probably do it the other way Anyway, put that back on like so, and then you could put it in like that. There we go. Won't put it all the way in, but you can see there the brushes are aren't sticking all the way out. So, anyway, to, and then, of course, I already showed you the third setting. Now, I guess I'll show you the second setting. <sighs> uh, which is right here. So, I got it set on number two on this way. And... I got it set on number two here, which will basically make it medium, but yeah. All right, now that you got the brush roller back in, what you would do is you would line up the belt with the belt lifter inside there. And you guys probably can't really see that, but it is there. Anyway. So it's just put it in the middle like that and then twist the belt lifter back in place. Like so. And then you could put it on like that. Put the base plate back on. There we go. And then put in these two tabs like so. And then put the nozzle back on to the main part oops like that and then to engage it 
you just put it on like so and there you go so moving further up you can see we got the delicate switch there and right here's the height adjustment which is called the toe touch control so what it is is um so you would start it on the highest setting when you first turned it on and then then you would press it down and then when the motor changes sound that means the brush got contact with the carpet and then press it two more times like that and now it's set at the right setting and then to put it back up you just put it back up like so and let's see oh, oh yeah on the side there's the air vent and moving further back here we have the on and off switch and then the tech drive and now that's neutral which means I can push it back or pull it back but if I put it there it locks up the wheels and as you can see I can't push it only the machine can when it's on and it's when the machines on those wheels aren't locked up they actually spin but since the machines not on they, it gets locked up so yeah and let's see moving around here is the M tour now this um this machine here ha um doesn't really have a different M tour than the G series than any other G series so obviously it has a a handle there so you can remove it like so or probably need two hands for that there we go and now you can put the hose or the tank for the shampooer um here on the blower part which speaking of the hose it's actually right here on the tool or the um, attachment box so to use it you would undo that and now if you want the blower part to blow up um, I don't know pool toys or whatever what you would do is you would put that on the end there and then there's a little safety switch inside there which you can see there's a notch there so you line up like that and then just twist on there like so which I think it's on now and then on the end of the hose there's this little thing that you can put on there if I can find it here it is this is um, this part here goes on there and now you have it set up as a little blower or I guess you could probably use it as an air compressor too and then to you can actually remove the nozzle like this and put put on this air intake thing and what that's for is that's for the that's for the um the safety switch if you didn't want to keep the nozzle on and you could use the nozzle if you wanted to you could just leave that on there but if you put it on like that then it still works the same now you have it set up as a blower and so i I think that's all for that part. Oh yeah, and also to remove the bag completely, there's a little button right here that says push. So if I push that, the whole bag comes completely off. 
and now there it is set up so yeah and then to unhook all that just put that back there unhook that put that back um oh yeah and to install the bag just it's basically the exact same way as you would to remove it just reversed put that back on and just put on the actually and put on this tab this little tab here on inside the sling and moving up here is a carry handle so you can carry the machine and down here actually is another carry handle similar to the Hoover convertible that I showed which is over there um, and now if you want to use the hose to just vacuum with it you would put this part here where the nozzle goes and then lock it up put it on like so and now you could use use it as this part and put any of these tools on here so yeah and now I guess I'll I'll show you the handle first and then we'll put it in canister mode so moving on the side here is the quick release cord hook which undoes all the cord in one um, in one piece I guess and now on Kirby's you get a very nice long cord I believe they're 32 feet something like that or you can get an optional upgrade and upgrade it to a 50 foot but anyway here's the um, Kirby plug you can see there focus if we'll ever decide to focus I don't think it will, but anyway, right there it says Kirby, and then here's the plug, and moving further down here you can see is a coin holder, so if you find a coin while you're vacuuming the couch or whatever, you can put that in the inside there, um, so you don't end up sucking it up and damaging the fan now. I believe Kirby also said you would um, do that so you can save up for like bags and belts and stuff like that and then when you want to get the change out you would twist this little thing and then the whole back would come out which I'm not gonna do but anyway if I can put it back on there we go and now to remove you can actually remove the sandal completely if you wanted to by pressing on this button here and then it comes out and then remove the bag like so and so yeah now you could you could use it as a canister but I'm not gonna show all that but anyway to put the bag back on you just click it on like so And so now I guess I'll put back on the, the nozzle there. And shut that up like that. And let's see what else. Oh, I'll we'll show you the handle here. So right now I have it set to to that position so I can lift up the nozzle to go over um, lift the nozzle if I have to go over door thresholds and air conditioning vents or whatever but um, if I slide it over like that what will happen is you can raise down the nozzle or the handle completely and it gets flat to the floor 
And now you can actually lock it in that position if you wanted to by pressing or putting that in like further like that. And now you could use it that way. Actually, in Kirby also um, said you could store your machine on its side like that. Put it against, <coughs> put it against the wall or something. But I don't see why you would want to do that. I think that just takes up more space, to be honest. And there we go. So there's that. So I think I pretty much shown everything I can. Um, there really isn't much more to show, so I guess I'll just put these attachments back in there. And now I think I might even show the hard floor tool um, in the demo, I'm not sure though. But anyway, speaking of the hard floor tool, here it is. It's actually a pretty nice, um, does, it's a good tool actually. And here's the upholstery tool. And here's the other, actually here are the two extension ones. Which I guess I'll line them up. Like that. And then do this. Like so. And now there you can clean hard floors with it. And obviously you'd have the hose on the end there. And now on this elbow part here you can see it has a little suction control so you can release all the suction if you um, wanted to. So yeah anyway I guess I'll do the demo. We got some coffee down on the floor here to see how well this machine does and in case you guys are wondering this is what I used here. I used the cinnamon hazelnut um, coffee which actually I'll put a little more down and also I put some down in the kitchen too. So I want to try out the hard floor tools so I guess we'll see how well the Kirby copes with this mess. So I guess I'll, um, I'll demonstrate the delicate mode on one of the other passes, so here we go. <laughs> Exactly sure. Um, something not right with that brush. I think possibly the belt might be going bad on it. I'm not sure, but anyway, um, you can see from that demo it actually did pretty well. And so yeah, so I guess I'll go into the kitchen now and we'll see how well the hard floor tool does. All right, so put some coffee down on the floor here. So I'm gonna test this hardwood floor tool and now if, I, if we just have a closer look at it you can see there we got some suction channels and a little brush um, 
So I'm actually not sure how well this is going to do with this test. I'm thinking it might do alright, but possibly a little bit of snow plowing, but I'm not sure. So I guess let's find out. And now it is going to be a little louder since I have the hose attached and also since we're in the kitchen. So here we go. Oops. the um, overview and demonstration on this 2005 Kirby G5 or Kirby Ultimate G Diamond Edition so as you can see from this test and demonstration it actually did very well these I will say this has got to be one of my favorite Kirby's next to the Centria they're very nice um, machines and I am very impressed with that hard floor tool. And now, um, you could actually, I forgot to mention this, but you could shut the brush roll off and use that for hard flooring, but I don't recommend that. I don't think that's good for the belt. But anyway, but this nozzle does very well, so there's no reason not to use it. So anyway, I think that's just about it. So. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to Awesome Vacuums, and that being said, thanks for watching, and bye for now.